What's good YouTube? Today I'm going to be talking about why I'm still holding my AMC stock and why I'm looking at buying more these next couple of days. But before I do get into that, make sure to go down and subscribe if you are new to the channel because I do update you guys on AMC stock every single day. So today was the day we dropped Q4 earnings and we talked about 2023. Adam Aaron talked to us for over an hour. If y'all saw my last video, you saw what Adam Aaron did say about AMC stock. He is riding the rocket ship with us. I've been reading every single comment, everyone's you know saying negative stuff oh my god squeeze isn't happening so much for the squeeze i've been saying it doesn't have to happen on earnings obviously it doesn't have to happen today or the next day or the next week or the next month or the next year the point is i'm going to stay buying at this price because amc stock is undervalued amc dropped 11.22 percent after hours we closed at four dollars and 43 cents big deal we're trading at where we were trading at two days ago you know it's not that big of a deal and we can recover that in one day literally and i see us recovering a lot of people are thinking we're gonna get pushed down even further but i do see us going to the upside from here not financial advice whatsoever all you have to do is take a look at what adam aaron said it was a bunch of positive stuff he barely said anything negative except for what happened obviously to the share price that was the only negative thing and i feel like amc going lower is just gonna open the eyes to a lot of other investors because at the end of the day this is a value play amc at a 99 percent discount amc is a business that's going to stick around guys he literally said they have over 800 million dollars in cash he's saying that the amc management did what was absolutely vital for this company to survive now they have cash now they have time and now when the box office does recover and movies are dropping left and right they are going to pay off their debt in no time he said the number one problem amc is facing is the lack of content and the content is coming that is for sure the content is coming but yeah i do see amc stock recovering so i am looking at loading up more if it does dip a little more tomorrow i'm looking at buying more at the four dollar range so this was the 2023 results this guy said solid growth year over year since pandemic and we still get our stock pushed in after hours i'll hold till the whole house of cards comes crashing down so amc entertainment holdings fourth quarter and full year of 2023 so the full year of 2023 total revenues grew 23% to $4,812 million compared to $3,911 million for 2022. So AMC is still bringing in cash, obviously. For the fourth quarter, total revenues grew 11.5% to $1,104 million compared to $990 million for 2022. So the revenue is looking pretty good. We are growing. We are going up. And that is what we want to see. AMC is not going down. We are coming back from the pandemic. And and one thing that stood out when Adam Aaron was talking, he said that each person going into the movie theater is now spending 37% more than what they were in 2022. So we don't even have to go to pre-pandemic levels to be beating pre-pandemic levels. But Adam Aaron did give us a long speech. Make sure to go watch my last video if you haven't already. I just posted the part where he was talking about AMC stock because that's all that really matters right now, especially to us shareholders. The earnings were pretty good. They beat the estimates. You saw it all over the headlines, AMC beating estimates, but it still dropped down 11%, 15% after hours. And that's just classic. You know, we were expecting this. And at the end of the day, no one sold. We are all riding this rocket ship together. This guy said, only to remind you, the float is just multiple owned by retail investors. Nobody is selling and AMC drops after hours 15%, just eight minutes before company will beat earnings expectations and report records. When justice, hashtag ape name, we dropped down to like four dollars and eleven cents i believe was the low four dollars and eleven cents we dropped down a whole dollar from our all-time high today which was five dollars and ten cents and that's a lot when we're trading basically like a penny stock but it's not too bad it really isn't like i said we're only trading where we were trading on monday big deal we can make that back in a day easily and i really do see us making that back once everyone hears the news once everyone hears what adam aaron had to say it was so positive there's no reason why we should go further down now we can go down to another all-time low who knows no one really knows but if that happens you already know i don't have to say it but i'm buying the dip i am buying the dip that is all i gotta freaking say this guy said i am with adam aaron are you just in ceo adam announced 
announced his compensation will be going down 25% from the previous year. He also said he hasn't sold a share, with the exception of vested shares sold to pay taxes in the last 25 months. He said, I ride with you. We are in this together, you and I, and we are all smiling into the next year. Adam Aaron said during the Q4 live earnings call, he is riding with us, guys. Like, obviously, he has millions in the bank. He doesn't got to worry about losing a couple 10 million, but he is still on the journey with us. He is still loading the boat. He is still riding the rocket ship, guys, at the end of the day. So he does want what's best for AMC. Obviously, the goal was not to send the stock to the moon. That wasn't his goal. His goal was to make AMC last, make AMC thrive, make AMC a profitable business again and get it out of debt. And that is exactly what he's doing. I've been on the 50-50 side, obviously. I'm pretty neutral when it comes to Adam Aaron. A lot of people hate him and I do see why they hate him, obviously, but he is the CEO of a company. Does he wanna go to heaven or does he wanna go to hell? He may be satanic, you know, I don't know. He might want to go to hell, but at the end of the day, I still think what he's doing what's best for AMC. Even though it may not be in the favor of shareholders, he is doing what's best for the company to stick around. And the company sticking around does mean that the stock will go higher eventually. It doesn't have to happen tomorrow or the next week or the next month, but it is going to come. This guy said, AMC earnings report was good. 2024 will be good. 2025 will be great. Patience is needed for the greatest play ever. Now I have to block a million shills. This guy just posted up with Adam Aaron, the guy. Obviously, Adam Aaron was reading off a paper, not until he started answering questions at the end of the freaking broadcast. But yeah, he was literally reading off a paper the whole time for like an hour straight. Kind of pissed me off. I was like, just freaking read it. You know, he kept pausing. This guy said, once AMC gets beyond the box office delays due to the strikes, the stock is going to go parabolic. What the AMC team has done with a limited release schedule is remarkable. Apes can't wait. We're still not leaving AMC. No one's leaving. I mean, you have to be a paper hand to be selling at these prices. Not financial advice whatsoever. You do what you want with your money. But me personally, I am looking at buying the dip, especially if AMC goes lower tomorrow. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to go down and subscribe once again if you are new to the channel because I do update you guys on AMC stock every single day. Make sure to go watch my last video if you haven't already. It's Adam Aaron talking about AMC stock. 2023 was clearly another year of recovery and improved performance for AMC. But it, was a not, but it was not a good year for our shareholders. Adjusted for stock splits, the AMC share price has fallen to a fraction of where it was as recently as last summer. And I promised our shareholders that I would use this earnings webcast as a forum to provide them with some straight talk, to give them my take. So here's my take. In the last six months, as the AMC share price has dropped, I personally have lost tens of millions of dollars in the value of my AMC shareholdings and in my granted but unvested stock. I feel your pain and I'm heavily incentivized to get the value of your AMC shares back on the right track. It was pretty interesting what he had to say, but I'll catch you guys in my next video. As y'all know, I'm buying the dip. Here we go, come on.